Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwann and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Lisa Fiondella and she's the founder and CEO of Refocus Analytics. Welcome Lisa. Welcome Gerhard, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. You are a data specialist and I'd like your answer to one quick question. Okay. Why is data so important all of a sudden and analytics? Well, data, as you know and as we read about, is growing at an amazing rate every day. I mean, the statistics are, are staggering. The challenge is, is that the resources and skills to really address and evaluate data aren't growing at the same rate. And so there's a big gap in the marketplace um, around how organizations can actually use this vast amount of information. So uh, tell us. Um at a 35,000 foot level, when you look down on the territory that people can map with data, what should I be looking at? Well, when I, you know, the territory I map is really data for sales and marketing purposes. And we tend to look at it from four perspectives. One is really understanding your customer segments. So this whole notion of customer segmentation and getting really smart about the markets you're trying to serve. The second is around lead scoring and lead prioritization. So what are the chances that a lead will generate an amount of revenue for a business or close, become a closed one deal? The third area is revenue modeling, which is if I have an account, what are the chances that that account will actually generate revenue for my business? And then the fourth area that people often forget about is around customer retention and attrition. And this is where we ask the question about, um, is a customer likely to stay with your business or are they highly likely to leave? And as a result, how do you deal with that? Right, so let, let's drill down on two, uh, okay. the customer segmentation and lead scoring. Okay. Um, what is the difference between diagnostic analytics here and predictive analytics? So diagnostic analytics are really point in time snapshots. If you're using a CRM system, you're very familiar with diagnostic analytics because it's a report. Right. It's a point in time piece of information that says, I, my reps conducted this many sales calls last right. month, right? But that doesn't tell you anything about how you should go forward. Right. Predictive analytics takes all the information that's happened in the past and uses that information to predict the likelihood that something will happen in the future. Right. And that's the difference right. between diagnostic right. and predictive. And our goal really at Refocus is to help organizations turn, make data come to life. Let's say we, we look at past uh, leads that went through the funnel and they closed and then uh, you look at market data and see what the market needs. How do you analyze that? What, what, what tools do you use? What we do is we take multiple data sources, we combine them into a, a common data set, we apply mathematical algorithms and tools, and then the result is usually a score or a numeric value that tells a sales organization how they should take action going forward. So then you can tell the sales manager uh, to send salespeople only after leads that have a certain score. Right, Correct. exactly, okay. right. So in the lead scoring scenario, if a, if a rep has 500 leads in their portfolio and only 300 of them matter, but we still want to rank the 300, which is the first one they should go after. So a lot of sales managers that I talk to, they want to go from a reactive organization to becoming a predictive sales organization. Right. And you talked about revenue modeling. How does right. that work? So revenue modeling is a great, um, a great opportunity. And for example, I have a client who um, we've, we built a customer segmentation system for them so they could really better understand their market. And the second step in the process was modeling for revenue. So in this particular example, we took five different data sources. We looked at them to determine what the chances are of an account generating a certain amount of revenue. And then those, um, those predictions were layered back into the selling process. And the sales managers then managed to that, right? They were working with their reps to make sure they were focused on the highest revenue generating opportunities. And in this example, one of the interesting things was at, because we had segmented their business, we were able to create selling strategies by segment. So they were giving the right message to the buyer 
so they were most likely to buy the product. So it actually, um, in this particular case, um, their, their revenue increased and um, actually sales rep satisfaction was great. So what you're saying is you not only need to analyze uh, buying behavior, but also selling behavior and then uh, move to prescriptive analytics and telling salespeople right. how to approach this right. different segments. Right. Yeah. So you you know the predictive piece is really important, but you've got to layer on the prescriptive piece as well, which is then how do you execute against it? Because just the analytics for the sake of analytics is just right. more data, right. Right? right? And we're trying to make right. sense of right. data. Well, thank you, Lisa. For anybody who would like to get more information, click on the link below.